Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Norris. It is Friday, April 10th, and this is the Norris Group's Real Estate Headline Roundup in two. Distressed sales only make up about 12.7% of residential transactions nationwide in 2014. That's our lowest in about eight years. CoreLogic reported the increase in home prices was slower in February, but still, hey, it's up 5.6% for the year. New home purchase application increased last month by 12%. Fannie Mae's 2015 housing survey shows consumers easing off on income growth expectations due to bad job numbers that were a little worse than expected. And 30-year rates went down a little bit at 3.66% for 30-year, and 15-year rates are now at 2. 93%. Actually, a question for people in the audience. Um, you might have heard about the HERO program and doing a little bit of research for a radio show that we want to do. Want to know if realtors, investors out there, if you've purchased any properties or have dealt with clients that are buying a property with um, HERO program involved. It's on the tax. It's when homeowners want to get some home renovations done that are in building energy efficiencies. And there's been a lot of complaints, especially by some of the elderly, talking about how uh, windows for a very small house cost 44000 I have a family member that got a very expensive roof done um, uh, that seemed a lot more expensive than it should have been. And it seems like some contractors are going after the elderly. If you have any examples of this, please email me or leave a comment on YouTube, on Facebook. Would love to hear your stories and pass it on to the Inland Valley Association of Realtors. Credit is still tight at large banks because quite honestly they're still getting sued uh, because of the meltdown. Uh, the non-banking industry however has increased substantially. Uh, they're whopping 37.5% in 2014 and that's up from 14% back in 2011 so they're filling in the gaps. So question is will large banks stop getting sued and will they become a larger piece of the market in the next couple years? The CFPB has fined California-based RMK Financial Corporation for deceptive ads that had consumers believing the companies were somehow related. RMK also goes uh, does business under Majestic Home Loans. The issue was RMK sent out over 1,000 mailers using the logo of the Department of Veteran Affairs and the Federal Housing Administration, implying the ads were actually sent by those entities. Oops. CoreLogic says all cash sales made up 38.9% of the market last year, and that's a lot of cash, but you know what? It's actually down from 2011, where the peak was at 46.5%. What will 2015 look like? We will see our hard money lending business. We see a lot more um, private purchases from people with equity and a heck of a lot less REO, REOs and short sale, but you guys are making the switch, so good for you. That's it for the headlines this week, but of course there are many more on our blog at thenorrisgroup.com forward slash blog. Up on the radio show this week, we've got Lance Martin. He is with Coldwell Banker Town & Country, and this is the second interview where we get to hear about all the changes in the business. He's been in a long time doing everything from REOs to short sales, and he runs offices out of the Inland Empire in Orange County. Always a great guest. We'll be hitting the speaking trail again out in May. So if you're in the Orange County area, May 3rd, we're going to be doing the 2015 Women in Default Services Conference. You don't have to be a lady to attend. Uh, and we'll get to see lots of familiar faces from HUD and Fannie and Freddie. Um, it should be a good conference. And if you're a premium member, check out the discount we've got in the portal under discounts. May 5th through 7th, we're going to be the Nor be doing the Norris Property Buying Boot Camp. That's out of our office. Three intensive days. Uh, we're almost sold out. So if you're interested in that, please contact Diana Barley in our office. May 6th. We're going to be doing a market update at the Inland Valley Association of Realtors on May 14th uh, with the Apartment Owners Association. We're speaking at their million dollar trade show and landlording conference. Um, and market calendars October 16th is I Survive Real Estate. That's our fundraising event that we do for Make a Wish in St. Jude. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor, you can call our office and talk to Diana. For information on hard money loans, check out thenorrisgroup.com. We do fix and flip, buy and hold, and new construction loans. Or if you're looking for information on trustee investing, check out tngtrustees.com. With that, have a fantastic fantastic weekend and we'll see you next week.